Hey guys and welcome! In this video, I will be using the TechRap Craft Clear Cold Color Changing Adhesive Vinyl that comes in 6 standard colors including red, green, blue, yellow, rose red, and orange. This vinyl has a glossy finish and it will change from clear to colored when chilled below 59 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 degrees Celsius. also be using the Stackrap craft tools for weeding and burnishing the vinyl. So for today's project, I will be making a simple design for this beer can glass. You can purchase this glass with a bamboo lid from the Stackrap website. So first, I am measuring the beer can so I'll know the size that I want for my design. I am planning to make a simple wavy text, so I'll go for 2.5 inches for the weed. Then I open my design space and click the Add Text button. Then I'm typing the word that I want for my design. I'll be using the word Manifest. Since I want to achieve a wavy text, I'll click the Curve button and play around with the text diameter as well as the letter spacing. Then I'll duplicate the text and type the remaining word and also play around with the diameter. Then I just need to place it near the first text and also edit the letter spacing to look similar to the first text. Now that I'm happy with how it looks, I will click the weld button below to combine the two texts. Then I'll change the size of the design to 2.5 inches so it will fit my beer can perfectly. Next, I'll duplicate the text twice since I want to have this in three rows with different vinyl colors. So here, I'm changing colors for each row to see how my design will look like. Then press the Make It button and you will see that the machine will cut three times since you assign different colors for each text. Since I want to make the cutting simpler and easier, even though I'm going to use three different vinyl colors, I'll go back to my canvas and set all the text in one color only. Once I do that, the machine will now just cut once. A hack that I usually do is that I use the ruler to place the text on the same spot that I will be placing my vinyls on the cutting mat. So after cutting the vinyls on the same size that I need, I'm placing them on the same measurement as my design so that they will cut perfectly. For this kind of vinyl, the cold color changing vinyls, don't forget to remove the protective film on top before you load it into the machine and cut your design. Now it's time to cut the design onto the vinyl and I just use the default vinyl plus setting on my Cricut machine when doing so. Once the cutting is complete, remove the vinyls from the cutting mat. Then I'm weeding the excess vinyl using my tech crap weeding pen and scrap collector. Thank you. 
Now I'm placing the transfer tape on top of my first design and I'm using the TechCraft squeegee to burnish the vinyl. I'm also using this old glasses case to hold my beer can glass while placing the vinyl. Make sure that the glass is clean so wipe the surface before placing the vinyl on top. Now I'm peeling the vinyl from the transfer tape and as you can see it's 90% easy to peel but sometimes there are parts that are sticking behind so you can always use your tweezers to help get that vinyl out. Then slowly place the design on top and use the squeegee carefully to burnish the design onto the glass. Peel off the transfer tape and use it again for the second row. Burnish the vinyl and remove the transfer tape. Then I'm using the transfer tape again for the third row. Burnish again and peel the transfer tape. And you're done! Now the exciting part is watching the vinyl change its color when you pour icy cold water into the glass. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you on the next one. Bye!